big guys pulling random stuff around the parking lot, you know. It's, uh, the crowd here in Quebec's amazing. Uh, you know, we've, we've got a couple contests in Western Canada now where we have great crowds that come annually, which is which is great. Um, and it wasn't always like that, you know. For Quebec, is, you can you can sort of watch the, how good the crowds can be here today. Uh, nice day, there are people here packing the stands. They love it here, and, and I love performing for them because, you know, they have a genuine appreciation for strength in Quebec. Uh, I think it's a part of their history, and they appreciate it, and I love doing it here, so it's great. I'm Brad Provick. Just don't stop one. Well, it's well, it's good. Paul Luke Scarab, Luke Frank, and Ben Rexel, Mike Saunders, Jean Francois Caron, and Jonathan Wade, and Simon Bedeau. And you're watching Strongman. Is that Paul Strongman? Yeah, the strongest man on TSN. Yeah, yeah, TSN. I am Yes. 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 Another classic strongman event. This one emphasizes wrestling. Approximately 310 pounds at the non-revolving handles. So you look at this, Steve, and you think maybe this is like a torture, right? Yeah. We're drawing a quarter, except they're, they're having you. You're not quartering you. So Luke Scarra from Thunder Bay is up first. And uh, let's see what Luke can do. This is a, an isometric event. There's no motion here. But we know that the hands are the channel of energy and power from the torso and the core and the hips and the legs. Right, it doesn't look like much is happening, but these guys are working hard. 21.54 seconds. First up, you just set the statue. One of the challenges of this event, Steve, is that you don't rip your hands apart. So the grips that they take actually vary. Some of them will, 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 will fold a little chunk of their palm into the into the grip. Some of them will hold more with their fingertips. Wow, each man to his zone. And Jonathan Wade is up next, trying to beat that 21.54 time. Steve, the most bourgeois, used to say, I go into my happy place in this event. Yeah. <laughs> wow. He's in his happy place now because he's beat the 21 seconds. Now let's see how far he can push it. 29.30 seconds. And I think you're going to see a lot of competitors looking at their hands. Just shy of 30 seconds. Are you pleased with the result? Uh, it's the first time I've ever done that event. So uh, I feel all right. But uh, there's some guys here that uh, probably done it a few more times than me. So uh, now it's the first competitor. I didn't have any uh, number to shoot for. But uh, you just do your best. And you would best stay right there. We'll be back with more strong men. And our next contestant is Anthony Landry. Another young man, only 22 years of age. He's got a lot of time to fill out and to gain that tendon strength that's so necessary in high-level strongman competition. And then he's trying to get to his happy place, Sam, so... He can exactly. Add on the seconds here. So the feeling is these these handles want to uncurl your fingers, and you're fighting that sensation. Okay, Steve? So fighting that uncurling sensation, and all the while the weight is so heavy, it's actually pulling your shoulder blades apart, and your latissimus dorsi are struggling wow. to hold you together. That is painful just to listen to that description. And he finishes 28.95 seconds. It's a pretty good time. Pretty good effort, and Simon Kudro is up next. Now, this man surprised us in the wheelbarrow, and definitely showed that he had very strong grip in that event. So let's see what we can do here. Well, it looks like he is in a good place. He's concentrating and no movement. Remaining very steady. Looks like he's concentrating, Sam. Off to a good start. Absolutely. 
And this is one of the major differences between a recreational weight trainer and a true strength athlete is the strength of the hands. Because, you know, back in the old days on the farm, you developed incredible hand strength. You took everything from milking the cows to lifting stones and bailing hay. Well, his hands are doing a good job because look at that. He's up to 35 seconds. He already has the lead. Yeah, this is the time to be. This is absolutely amazing. Wow. wow. Set the standard. Let's check it out. Crash is the 40-second, 42 for two seconds. That second. was incredible. What a wow. performance for this young man. Yeah, tremendous joy on that face. Well, we well we that saw day. many athletes having difficulty with this event, but this wasn't the case for you. No, no I, I love this event. And I realized the key to doing well is having a really good setup. And, uh, you know, the rest is uh, just up to me. And here's our next contestant, Mike Saunders. 44-year-old Mike Saunders. Mike Saunders told me, you know, he, he wanted to leave a little in the tank in this contest because he's going to the World's Strongest Men Masters Championship. Wow. And, uh, you know, he didn't want to get injured here. So we'll see what he does. And Masters is what, over 40 years old? That's right, 40 and over. Wow. Now, the interesting thing is that it actually does take quite a while for a strong man to develop that trait. There's the right hand uncurling. He had the oh, same wow. problem in the wheelbarrow. He's in pain. He's not holding on a second longer. 27.78 seconds. Still a great effort. Absolutely. But some of these guys will rip taluses right off their hand, which can really wreak havoc with the performance in future That's events. Amazing. Here is Christian Savoy. He has to put up a good time. He's in a tremendous fight with Jean Francois Carroll. This guy can do. A former three time North American Strongest Man, multi time Canada Strongest Man. He is currently in the lead, but he's got Carroll breathing down his neck. He was only four points away. Every second counts here, Sam. That's right. Look at that. Oh, look, he's, he's over 25. When they go asymmetrical like that, you know it's not. Just hanging on. Let's see, 29.36 seconds, not bad. And Ben Rockstone will try to do it next. Let's see, Ben, not, not a millimeter of movement in this man. Wow, he's holding steady, he's legs far apart, good setup, really got to concentrate, he's squeezing hard. And you can see him concentrating on the breathing set. That's right. The happy place. His happy place. We'll see, but it looks like he's a little bit of trouble, Sam. Yeah, absolutely. Oh, there it is. Tough time, 23.55 seconds. Not what he wanted. You have to do grip to get good at grip. And grip actually increases very quickly. Uh, here's Jean-Francois Caron. He knows what he needs to do here, Sam. He's got to have a great time. He's chasing Savoie, the former champ. Cavill, actually, is a defending champion. He's only four points away. He must do well in this event. And Savoie gets 29 seconds. He's got to hit 30 seconds. There's an opportunity for him here. Oh, oh it's starting to struggle, Sam. Right hand. Oh, he's not going to do it. Oh, no. Wow. 33.01 seconds. Oh, a golden opportunity may have been lost here for Cavill. Wow. So, Simon Boudreau takes the event. He's followed by Savoie, Wayne Landry, Saunders, Ruxtool, Caro, and Scara. And Caro losing valuable points in this event. Stay tuned for more strongmen on TSN and RDS. So, pull up on the popcorn, and we'll be right back for event number six on TSN. And we're back, and there's a couple of future strong men as we go to event number six, the train wheel carry. Two train wheels, 320 and 410 pounds. You have to carry the light one 25 meters, and then the heavy one as far as you can. And our first contestant is Brad Krupek. So there's no time limit on this event. They're only allowed one drop. That means that one drop ends the event for them. So the difficulty here, Steve, is they actually have to hang on to that lip. And depending on your build, it will, it will affect your performance. So there's 320 pounds for over 25 meters. And now he has to do 410 and take it as far as he possibly can. Well, let's see what he can do. He's off to a good start. The first set there was pretty good. Now he's got the heavier weight. Now long arms can be a disadvantage here because you have to pull the weight into you. The lower your arms are, the lower it can sit. And that actually can affect your walking. Uh, he's starting to lose the grip, but he's still going. That's right. Wow. He's done he hits the line. He turns around, Sam. <laughs> wow. Wow, 410 pounds, that, that's about as heavy as a fridge, a modern fridge. Wow. Not a huge fridge. And he hit 55.79 meters. What an effort for Brad. 
Brad, awesome performance there. You gave everything you've got. Yeah, I, I was really disappointed with the Hercules hold. It's one of my best events. It was a terrible time. So I really got angry. I figured, just give it 101%. And I did. I just about fell on my face there. Good. Whatever it takes, Brad, he's throwing it. And we have Scarab up next. So the other interesting thing about this event is you notice that the legs never fully walk down at the knee, so they never fully straighten the knee. So this causes the lactic acid to build up very quickly in the quadriceps. Plus, you're leaning back. So that in itself is a difficult position. And if you manage to hold the wheel high enough, it interferes with your breathing. So you're going to see these guys sucking air like a fish out of water, in addition to their legs getting out. Wow, so uh, you hold it high, it's, it helps in one area, it hurts in the other, I guess. That's right. It's absolutely. Okay, there's, a, there's a method to the madness of these events. <laughs> exactly. Luke Scarif, I'm doing good. I'm doing a good start. Wow, wow that's a, these are like big lifesavers, Sam. That's right. Yeah, the black ones. I don't like the taste of the black ones. They're a little heavier. Uh, yeah, no, 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 no. I like the red ones. You gotta want the red ones. Luke's moving very well here. Very methodical. Well, I see he's leaning back. It's Started the struggle. That's it. Let's check it out. Oh, a good distance. 67.67 meters. He beats Brad's 55. He managed to carry it almost all the way back with the big 410 pound wheels. Yeah, that was my goal, was to uh, take the big black one right to the end. Fell a little bit short, but the music, you know, was helping me out there, I'm sure. And what about the public? Well, obviously the fans cheering. Helps you do really well. The last time I did this event was with this sand. Sorry, this sand. So this is a lot easier. In the sand, you know how much harder that would be? And we have no stability. The cows would pump up like balloons. Yeah, not, not a good scene. So you can't just walk Kara off. That's right, big event for him. So. He's got to make up a lot of points. He had a disastrous Hercules hold here. The pressure's really on Kara so he can keep his title. He cannot afford to mess up with this event. Absolutely not. Let's see what he can do. <laughs> Wow, this is the title right there. He's going, Sam. He's going to do something here. It's all right. Here we go. Wow, the fans are cheering him on. The crowd is enthusiastic. They want Caron to do very well. well. You see, he's got a very good position of that train wheel. You know, midway between his, 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 his hips and, his, and his, his upper body. It's placed really well. It's going to be really well. And I'll tell you, this guy can front squat. Seven plates wow. in the gym. That's a huge amount of weight. That is impressive, Sam. And the fans, the crowd is enthusiastic. There's sheer joy that he's doing well in this event. I think he's going to come through. He's doing a tremendous effort here. This is how Sisyphus felt when he was carrying that big stone. He was back. <laughs> exactly how he felt. 79.87 meters. That leads the competition so far. He is pleased with that effort. So set up, honey, up. Well, I'm in first for the moment in this event, but there's still a few good guys to go. The wheels are very heavy, and the lactic acid just accumulates so quickly in the legs. I'm going to wait to see what the other guys do, although I'm a bit disappointed, and I hope I don't lose my title this year, but it's okay. There's still two events left. Let's see. Let's see what the other guys can do. And next up is Ben Ruxdall. He's the current Ontario strongest man, six feet five inches tall, 350 pounds, very impressive. So Ben has proven that he can do well in these competitions. Let's see how he does in this particular one. And see how the, the wheel's not interfering with his walking. He's got a place fairly high, but he's breathing well. And he's not leaning as far back as some of the other guys, so his position is good. Uh, looks like he's in very good shape after the first set there. Yeah, and notice how they don't just chop the hands, they're chopping the forearms, because the wrist and forearms are coming in contact with the wheel as well. Well, exactly. Look at that. He's moving steadily, calmly, and, and breathing. And once again, Steve, I want to emphasize to the crowd here that you know, these are total body events because you're pulling that wheel into your body and you're walking. I mean, every major muscle group is functioning here, okay? Oh. 
Barry Presley is trying to beat the 79 meters that John Francois Cameron put up. He's breathing hard, he's wearing a mouthpiece, that's the properly aligned his dentition. There's some evidence to show that when your teeth are properly aligned, it aligns the neck better and you actually are stronger. Look at that, well, he's doing everything he has to, and let's see, that's going to be close. Oh, 76.52 meters. Wow, that's really close. Wow, just fine. I tried to hold on a little longer, but I didn't want to break my toes. Well, that was wise. <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. <laughs> well, the toes intact, and Mike Saunders will give it a shot. Mike Saunders from Actonville, Quebec, born in Cornwall. Today he's off to a great start. Let's see what happens. He's got his little girl with him, and she is so cute, four years old. All his kids have unique names that his wife made up. Oh, let's go. And, uh, give us one, for example. Let's oh. see Mia. Okay. Now that I've said that. it, it won't be unique anymore. <laughs> <laughs> wow, well, he's off to a good shot. He's doing his family proud. I'm sure they're cheering him on amongst the many in the crowd. Mike Saunders doing very well here, very methodical, but you can see how the knees don't fully extend, and that's what causes the fatigue to build up, right? Right. It's like walking up the hill and never doing lockstep. Right, but long day, you fully extend, you, you take the chance of walking in the knee, I guess. Well, that rarely happens, but the point here is you get the joint to take some of the pressure momentarily right. so that the muscles don't oh, fatigue as quickly. Oh, we almost got that as a silly step. Well, it looks like that. 58.85 meters. <laughs> The young guy, let's see what he can do. Yeah, these young guys have been really surprising. He and uh, Simon Boudreau, they're really, really impressive. I, I don't know where they're getting it from, but uh, they're excelling in some events wow. that traditionally you, you don't see. But uh, look at how he really ran with that lifesaver, didn't he? <laughs> Here's that's a 410, so he's done 25 meters with a lighter one. And then remember that the, the distance can be 79.87 by Jean-Claude Carron. Well, he's moving so well here. And he doesn't show any sign of fatiguing. He's looking good. And again, he's very erect. His knees are not bending too much. You can see the efficient technique. It could be his build. Wow, look at him go. This is amazing. Wow, he's, he's the new leader. Look at that. Oh, listen to the crowd. They are excited. Look at this. I am truly impressed by this youngster. Wow. How far can he go? This. Let's see if he, can, if he can shatter that 79 meter bar. Well, he, he's definitely oh, shattered it. Oh, wow, he's walking proudly. Look at that. Look at that. One step after another. Oh, and he's out and he throws it down. Look at that. 97.54 meters. Unbelievable. Almost did three laps with that 410. You didn't just beat everyone. You crushed them. That was the goal, wasn't it? I saw they just go, and I knew I had to go at least two or three. And Anthony is crushing the competition. But let's see what Christian Savoie can do here. He is trying to hold on to his lead in this competition. That's right, and Cato is trying desperately to gain on Christian Savoie. It's anyone's contest at this point. 25 meters successful with a 320. So remember, Cato did 79.87 meters. That's Christian Savoie's, aside from the 97 that Anthony did, he wants to catch Carroll on this one. You know, and don't forget, Carroll lost a lot of points on that, that Hercules hole. That was devastating to his right. defense of the title. Well, Christian Savoie, he's moving. He's struggling. Oh. He is struggling. Yeah, he's having a tough time. He's only done 25 meters there with a the big one, so that's 50 total. He still does work out for him. See how he's resting? Yeah. That's good strategy here if he can just not tire himself out doing that. Does every meter count? Wow, he really needs the crown here. He's 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 gotta go all the way. He's got points to make up here. Oh well, that's it. Not a great distance. Let's check it out. Uh, 54.89 meters. He's opened the door again for Jean Rossois Carroll. And again, other competitors have surpassed him here. Ooh, that doesn't bode well for someone's lead. Well, let's see what Simon Boudreau can do. This young man has been incredibly impressive on the wheelbarrow, on the Hercules hole. Yeah, he's had a great competition so far. He's off to a quick start. He's running. 
We're watching the next generation of Canadian street dancing right here. I mean, this young man is long and lean. He only weighs about 265, about 6'3", six, 6'4". Six, he can actually put on weight, and he's demonstrating really superior strength in some key areas. Well, big things to come from Boudreau. Uh, let's see what big things he can do right here, right now. He's got to really trouble. crush that close to him. And you see that grip? Okay, he's holding it well. He's off to the races again. He's very quick on his feet. That's good. And he's, and he's quite erect when, he, when he's holding this, this giant lightsaber. He's got good form. He's got the fans behind him. They are really egging him on. He's a proud favorite here. Doing very well here. And right. the thing is, if he passes Savoy, that's another competitor who gets points ahead of Savoy. Exactly. So again, there, there, there is some complexity to the scoring here in Strongman. When you come in first in an event, Steve, you get, you get 12 points because there's 12 competitors. Then second is 11 points. Right. All the way, to, way down the line. To 12, you get one point, right? Positioning is important, even if you Ooh. don't win, good points. Now, what did he do? Wow, 77.43. Oh, another great performance by Seymour Blue. And Anthony Landry takes the 12 points. He's followed by Carroll, Boudreaux, Ruxtell, Scarab, Saunders, and Brovic. And now it's Southwest turn to have a bad event. My name is Jonathan Wade, and you're watching Strongman on RDS and TSN. And we'll calculate who's in the lead now and let you know when we come back. But Saunders, Wade, Scarab, and rounding out the 12, we have Provick, Bryant, and Wallace, and Falk. Only three points separate the two, Cattle and Savoy. How long can this go on? Bon oh, Mike Saunders, à la prochaine. My name is Mike Saunders. See you next time for more Strawman here on CSN. And I'm excited.